Hey, it's the preacher, and it's October 30th. And it's not often that you hunt geese and pick ripe tomatoes at the same time, but that's exactly what I did today. Look at this thing. We had a little Canada goose hunt here in the field below the house this morning. And then we come up here and pick big old ripe yellow brandy wines when we got done. Here you go, babe. Oh, a lot of them split. We got a bunch of rain the other day, but still yet. Look at that. That is a ripe indigo cherry. I'll just walk you down through here. If you want to make green tomato relish, well, we can do that. If you want to fry green tomatoes, we can do that. <laughs> There's a bunch of ripe ones back in there. They're calling for a chance of frost next week. We're a little late for frost. We usually have one by now. And of course, I tell you guys all the time, the most prolific producer in the garden is the yellow pear. Look how many green ones are on there. Still loaded. Looks like the vines are dead, but it's still making. These are just a good tomato. Mmm. And then these lunchbox peppers. Well, these are a good little pepper too. You want to talk about a snacker? These lunchbox come in red, orange, and yellow. Our red ones. This is about all they ever did. They just made these little bitty round red peppers, which taste fine, but they never really made big peppers. But I, you get me out here. I'm picking sweet peppers in the garden, October 30th. Something weird about that. Look at there. Tabasco still blooming. Of course, those Tabasco plants are loaded. You never need more than a couple of them, but we had four came up and we had room for them, so we put them in there. It takes them all summer to get cranking, and then once they start cranking, look out. Well, let's have a look in those buckets and just see what we ended up with. These are ripe or getting close to ripe tomatoes. If they had a little color on them, we stuck them in this one. Sweet peppers. Quite a few there. Those are lunchbox. These are just a mixture. Some of these are ripe red. These are the indigo cherries. Some of them are green, but they're all got purple tops, so they'll ripen. Uh, what's in here? That's a five gallon bucket, three quarters full of green. This is a bushel basket, three quarters full, well, full of green. Cold pack canner full of green. This is a hundred pound chlorine or calhypo bucket. Uh, just about full of green tomatoes. And then those okra pods, I'm just gonna scatter them out and let them dry, that's for seed. So we're in zone 7B, if you're wondering, and usually we have a frost sometime in October, and uh, it didn't happen this year. So anyways, we got a pretty good fall harvest. What are we going to do with all these green tomatoes? We're going to lay the big ones out and see if they'll ripen uh, on their own, the smaller ones. We're going to make chow chow out of, and we give all that away at Christmas. So uh, I'm not a big fan of fried green tomatoes, but we'll give a bunch away for people that are. 
anyway, thanks for coming along today. There's a whole bunch of yellow tomatoes over there. I don't even want them. I've, I've eaten so many, I'm done. But my wife's over there picking some. So whenever she gets done, we'll go home. Thanks for watching.